What's good now boys, it's your boy Stocky here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today guys we're going to be doing a video on a PlayStation Vita. I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod the PlayStation Vita to play any Vita game for free, any PSP games, any PS1 games as well, and also some other emulators which I'll be showing in a later video. But guys, first thing you got to do is you got to ensure that your system is on the firmware version of 3.73. So you got to go check. As you can see what I'm doing, I've got a memory card installed in this Vita as well. A 4GB memory card. Then, what you gotta do, if your Vita is not on 3.73, you gotta go to system update. Go to update using um, Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm on the latest version already. So guys, the second part of this video, with, I'm gonna be moving over to the computer. But all you gotta have for this is a PlayStation Vita Slim. You don't have to have a memory card for the PlayStation Vita Slim, but for the PlayStation Vita Fat, the 1000 model, you have to have a memory card installed. So guys, let's move over to the computer and I'll show you guys what to do. Okay guys, so here we are on the PC. I'm going to show you guys what I do. I go to the, the website and I download, I go over the releases and I find the H, final HN Core download. I only download the final H or HN Core zip and after I download that one, I extract the folder. Then we're going to be going over to QCMA. And we're gonna be downloading QCMA as well. My internet is very slow, guys, so I already downloaded these files in the background before I started to do the video. But I'm gonna show you guys where to go to download these files. As you can see, download the latest version for Mac OS or Windows, but I'm using a Windows machine, so I'll be only downloading the Windows version for this one. After that, guys, you close out of the browser, as you can see what I'm doing right here, and then you go to where you have your QCMA and your Final Hunk or um, folder is extracted you press on final encore to run it and Then you go ahead and run QCMA as well You must click on final hand cure first before you um, Click on QCMA as you can see there's a setup guys, but I already got it installed so I'll go to my programs and I'll scroll down to QCMA and I'll open the folder for QCMA as well so Yes, guys, then you move over to the PlayStation Vita. You open Content Manager Assistant, which is already on your Vita screen. You insert your USB, copy content. You press on PC on the Vita as well. Make sure you insert your USB onto the PC and press on USB cable. That's what I always use. You can use Wi Fi if you want, but I always use my USB. And then you go over to the PC again and you press on trim H and core then press let's go and you'll see what happens so guys you all, you, all you gotta do is wait until this finish installs you will see it 100% and that will be it guys for this part of the video we're gonna be having to move over to the PlayStation Vita again and here we are on the PlayStation Vita we press on copy content PC the system applications PS Vita press on press and make sure you let's make sure you get that guys you, then you press on copy okay and you wait until it finish copying After the copying is finished, we close out of Agent Core, we close out of um, Content Manager Assistant, and then we go scroll down, find Agent Core, press Start, click on Yes. Then we install Henkaku, press X. As you can see, success. Then you go down and download Vita Shell. My Wi Fi is very, very slow, so this will take a while for me. I'll pause the video and get back to you guys. So, guys, you're gonna be waiting until everything reaches 100%. As you can see, the application is installing and it said success. You're gonna be pressing on exit after that. So, you're gonna be exiting and you're gonna be opening Vita Shell. When you open Vita Shell, you will see what happens.
you'll see that there's only a UXO, so you know, you know what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to settings, press start, and Kako settings, enable unsafe homebrew, and put the spoof version to 3.73. Then you're gonna be exiting. Now go back to Vita Shell, start, and do exactly what I do. Go over to the Vita, I press select to put the Vita in USB mode. I connect my USB cable and then I move over to the PC. So guys, over on the PC, we're gonna be downloading Maruru VPK, the latest version, package JVPK. Download the exact versions that you see me downloading. Firmware version 3.68 is what I'm downloading as well. So please download that one as well. Then we're gonna be going over to the official flow for adrenaline. We download the latest adrenaline VPK 6.61, 6.9, and we go with the auto plugin 4.20, final cut 9. Close that. And then you open the folder where you downloaded these files. I download them and place them in my Vita 2 folder. So guys, wherever you have them on your PC, please look for them in that directory. Then now guys, I'm gonna be copying over Maduro to the Vita's root storage. And then we're going back over to the Vita. Now we unplug the Vita for the PC and then we scroll down to Maduro VPK. We go to the UXO part and we install Maduro. Then we close Vita shell we open Maduro. This will create some folders for you to put uh, the Vita um, firmware inside. So you gotta just go back over to the PC, close Maduro, open my Vita shell, press start, and then on the Vita, press select. Make sure to go back to where I do exactly as I'm doing, guys. Back up on the PC, I'm gonna be copying the Vita firmware. I already got it extracted, but I'm gonna be extracting it, guys, so you can see. Let's fast forward this part. After the extraction is complete, then you'll just open the folder. And then you'll extract the PS Vita official firmware.zip file, not the pre version or the system data, the PS Vita official firmware.zip file. Then you're gonna be copying the PS Vita PSP2 update.pub file that you find in the PS Vita folder, um, update folder to the root to the Maduro folder, as you can see what I'm doing on the PC. This is my first tutorial video guys, so sorry if it's not the best, but I'm showing you guys exactly what I did. Then you're gonna move over to the PS Station Vita. Press auto cancel. And then exit Vita Shell. Open Maduro again. And then it's gonna tell you to disable all your plugins, so you're gonna be restarting the Vita. After the video restarts, you're gonna go ahead and run um, HN Core 2. Press yes. If you're having problems with HN Core 2 um, crashing, then guys, you gotta turn off your Wi Fi and then turn it back on after you run HN Core. So, guys, we're gonna be pressing X on this. As you can see, we're now able to downgrade our firmware. And this is telling us to continue in 20 seconds, so we gotta wait until the next, until 20 seconds have passed. And then we press X again to start the installation. Guys, sorry my camera cut out at this part, so 
just follow the steps from here guys it will happen it will do what it has to do by itself so here we are installing the system update we don't have to press anything guys as long as we press x on Maduro, it will do what it has to do and it will restart the system for us And as you can see the system is restarting we're gonna be going ahead now opening the Vita and running the ancient core press X to exit we go to system settings let me show you guys that we're now on 3.68 system information 3.68 is the system version now guys we will go and open back vita shell we press start or select to go back to usb mode After we're back in USB mode, we move over to the PC. We go to where we download the Adrenaline VPK, Auto Plugin VPK, and the Package Day VPK. You don't have to copy back over Maduro, so I'll just skip the Maduro because we already have Maduro on the PS Vita and Vita. So we go back to the PlayStation Vita. We exit USB mode. I close Vita Shell. I reopen Vita Shell. We go down, scroll down to UXO. Then we scroll down and find the files that we just copied over from the PC. That's this part is um is in 2x speed. So guys, it's it will take a while to install, but just be patient. Adrenaline is a file that you can use to get all your PS1 games and um, PSP games to run on a PlayStation Vita. You can also run PSP emulators on that file as well. But I'll be showing you guys that thing in the next, in another video because this video is really long. And then we exit Vita Shell after everything is finished installed. As you can see, we installed three new apps. We run auto plugin. And no guys we don't want to update auto plugin you will see that pop up come up as you can see we press circle for no and then we scroll over to a uxo let me show you guys what to press press the l button and extra ensure guys that you have you are over on the uxo as you can see i'm pointing right on the uxo and show that the green the green is over on the UXO. You scroll down, guys, and you find no NPDRM, and you you don't you press an X to install. You press on the other one as well, as you can see him doing on the screen. And by the official flow, and you press triangle, then press X again on the first one, then scroll down, press X again on the second one to install and complete. And press start to exit auto plugin, and the VS Vita will restart. After the video restarts, you go again and you run Agent Core 2. If you have a problem, you press, you, you turn off Wi-Fi, as I said before, as the video will crash sometimes or will power off. So you just press in, turn off the Wi-Fi and then turn it back on when you're going to use an app. So here we are in package J. This is where you get all your free games. No, not their games are not free most of them but guys these are games that you have to pay for on the PlayStation Vita store are you have to buy it physically but these guys every single Vita game is free 
and able to download from in this store. The PS Vita is one of the best consoles or handle systems for, for modding guys. It's very, very easy. It's, it's, it's a very, very simple process. It's just like the PlayStation Portable. And you keep refreshing and if you get an arrow you just close it off um, package J and you reopen package J as you can see all the games are available the only thing I wish they had was that um, they had a graphic user interface so we can see um, the graphics for all the games and stuff like that but guys here there they are there are all the games you can download for the PlayStation Vita all the Vita games We've got um, Uncharted and all those games, God of War and all those games available for download right here on the PlayStation Vita. And some games won't, won't run on certain firmwares, just like this one. So you guys, if you want to see how to um, install games that won't run on your firmware, just tell me in the comment section down below. Because not all games will run on your firmware, but 3.68 is the most compatible firmware there is. Let me download a small game so I can show you guys. This is about um, 20 megabytes. I, my Wi-Fi is really slow, guys, so I'm sorry the video wasn't uploaded sooner. Sorry to um, let. I'm gonna put the guy's um, comment on the screen because I don't remember his name. I pressed it twice, so I have to cancel one of the files. And let's wait and see. Let's it's 20 megabytes, and this is where what you're gonna see. It's gonna be installing. So guys, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more awesome content. As you can see, the app is installed and we can run it. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more awesome, awesome content. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out and bye bye. Have fun with your Vita.